Hello my friends, we are at the Belgrade Fortress, Kalamaidan Fortress, at the Military Museum. There are two exhibits, exponents that have pretty much decided the destiny of the Second World War. One is this one, T-34, the mid-weight Soviet tank. Uh, maybe does not look as elegant as German Panzer uh, tanks, which we'll be seeing some of them as well, but it was quite good in combat. Uh, and this is another tool that decided the destiny of the Second World War, at least at the Eastern Front, the famous Katyusha. Katyusha. A battery of Katyusha. Oof, that you wouldn't you wouldn't wish to be there you definitely wouldn't wish to be there when they when they attack you see the front mirror i mean there's not a mirror but the windshield it's the zeal truck uh it's practically completely protected okay probably they open one of these to be able to see something but it's a rel relatively simple constru construction, even primitive, one would say. This rail, rail, I mean rails, and then rockets probably just put on top of the rails. So the rail only gives the initial uh, direction, practically, of the rocket, and then the rocket continues. Uh, and this now the middle-aged cannons. Uh, some dirt as well, which okay, I don't like, but uh, there is something there. This is something that I don't like. A lot of dirt and nobody is taking care of it. At least now, I mean, when there is enough time, the museums are out of work. The museum staff and the other staff in charge for cleaning could be doing doing something about this all this dirt, but nobody does anything the German heavy cannon 150 and we'll be also seeing the Serbian tank which is based on the Russian practically model I mean probably yeah that one and here there are also some German models this is the Yugoslav medium tank A but definitely based on the Russian uh, model. A bit modernized. And you see the difference in the design in, in German tanks. Uh, there are not curved lines. Panzerkampfwagen. Uh, you see there is a spare parts practically there as well. So you see the, the look, the profile look of the Russian Yugoslav tank and the German, there is one here. And this one here from the profile, <laughs> quite a difference in the design. And now you can see them both. German Jurischni, as we say, Sturmgeschütz 3. And there are some torpedoes, some light cannons, probably anti tank, yes, anti tank cannon. Uh, you see the, 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 the size of the torpedo, it's massive, I mean, but if you wish to sink an aircraft, not an aircraft, but okay, aircraft carrier, but also, I mean, um, other types of the ships that are more than 100 meters length, I mean, in length, then you need something like this, definitely. And some mines, some mine hunters, German aircraft torpedo, uh, the ship torpedo, they're massive, really massive. You see the propellers, double propeller, yeah. 
and yeah okay okay that's much for now um thanks for watching if you like it american light tank <laughs> stuart yeah again quite different different design um, if you like my videos i wouldn't mind if you if you click on the like button uh subscribe to the channel etc etc you know the drill ah, so the, the german light tank panzer kampfwagen this is again i believe the american light yes cr3 etc okay and then the siege cannon, you see the, the, how massive it is. Bye for now and talk to you soon again.